hello friends welcome back to the vlog so i did my yoga for today i had a really really nice breakfast it was so good and also i got myself ready for the day and today is exciting because because tomorrow we are leaving for a short weekend trip for my birthday um my birthday is in three days and you guys i'm turning 30 like i can't even believe um but yeah i'm super excited for my next decade i learned a lot of things about myself so many great things i'm thinking of doing a video about like lessons learned 30 lessons learned under 30 let me know if you guys will be uh, willing to watch that because i have some good lessons to share so yeah, i'm gonna do that not right now maybe after i come back from the trip and i'm also planning on vlogging that trip i have never done travel vlog before but i feel like yeah it will be nice for you guys to watch so i'm gonna do that and i do have like few emails to finish right now and then i'm gonna go for um, my nails you guys know i do my nails by myself but i figured since it's a special occasion end of this decade so yeah let's do something special here i'm pretty sure like i will have so many plans when i go to like nail salon that i'll do this design that design and i'll come back with something very simple something like this so this is what i did last time but it's all grown up now so we'll see i want to do something different but i'm pretty sure i'll come back with something neutral so yeah we'll see i'll take you guys along and i want to share my outfit for today these are denim Oh my god this denim is absolutely stunning this is from pistola this brand if you guys have watched my um, previous video i think i did a shorts before yes i did a shorts i talked about this brand in that one and oh my god their jeans is absolutely amazing so that's the reason why i got another pair for myself i'm wearing this in size 20 Five. yeah i'm wearing this in size 25 and still you can see it's pretty loose so if you want a tuck shirt or something in i feel like it has quite a lot of room and i really like straight jeans these days so yeah thought of sharing <laughs> okay guys so i'm back and i got a little brave today i did this marble design with little bit of gold um flakes in it i did take few videos in natural light so i will post that so that you can see the design i really like it it's simple yet little bit complex so yeah really really like it and i'm snacking on this snack this is vanilla orange dipped rice cake and it is so good I think I should start packing now. We are leaving tomorrow and I haven't started packing yet. And the packing is going to be very quick because we are just going for two, three days. Not long. Let's get the packing done. Okay, guys. So I have packed my makeup. For makeup, I just kept this foundation. This is in the shade 401 Warm. And this one matches me so well. I love this foundation. Kept... Um, concealer. I love the combination of these two. So the concealer, I have one color corrector. This one from NARS. It's absolutely amazing. I kept, I kept a lip balm from Jane Ardell. It's in the shade Forever Pink. This is a new one. I absolutely love this one. I buy this in bulk. I have this lip stain. This shade is also really nice. I don't know what shade it is. Right. I'm gonna link this down below. And then I have this highlighting balm from Merit. Okay, I have this cream blush from Vapor Beauty. And I have a Dior lipstick. I don't know if I will use it, but I just kept it a red lip. Um, just if in case I need it for dinner or somewhere. We are going with Yogi, so I'm not sure if we'll be eating out. Like maybe we'll take a lot of takeouts because uh, everywhere pets are not allowed. Uh, contour from Fenty Beauty this is a mascara from Rare Beauty. I absolutely love this. The packaging is great, but as you can see, this one gets dirty. Other than that, the product is absolutely amazing. And then I have a powder from Charlotte Tilbury travel size one and i have a bronzer from nars this is in the shade laguna i have a blush from hourglass cosmetics this is in the shade mood exposure and this is how the shade looks like it's a really nice pink shade and as you can see i'm hitting the pan i love this 
and then I have eyelash curler and I have two lip liners. One is from NYX in the shade Mahogany and then this one, I think the shade is Rule. Yeah, the shade is Rule. It's like brick, an orange kind of shade. So I just kept these two and I want to keep this one as well, setting spray. I'm completely out of this one. That's why I got a new one this stuff is absolutely amazing especially if you have combination skin check this one out from by terry primer is really great and and about brushes i'm not keeping much brushes i think i'm gonna keep one big fluffy brush this big fluffy brush for eyes one for bronzer that's it and one i'm gonna keep this beauty blender i do have to clean this as you can see it's dirty so i'm gonna do that so that's about my makeup and about my skincare moisturizer sunscreen and a night cream that's it you guys i have minimized the amount of product i i used to use earlier so that's really helping my skin if you are someone who have acne prone skin one tip i would like to give which was life changer especially in my case was minimize the amount of skincare products which you are using like because you will be seeing all over social media people are using serum essence i don't know what not face oils i did that mistake for the longest period of time so that's why i'm advising you please if you have acne prone skin do not use any facial oil whatsoever just use your whatever your dermatologist gave you that's it. So for me, my moisturizer is this one. This is from Elta MD. It's their skin recovery light moisturizer. This is what I use. And for sunscreen, again, I use this one from Elta Med. As you guys know, I've talked about it zillion times. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep these two. And then this night cream from Biopel. That's it. That's it. That's about my skincare. This is what I use and I'm gonna keep one cleanser which is again from Elta MD. So as you guys can see, this is all of my skincare product which I use. Uh, let me know if you want me to do a skincare routine for acne prone skin. I have so many amazing tips because I have suffered from severe acne and you name it. Every brand in the market, I have tried it. And nothing helps so yeah let me know if you want me to do a video i will definitely do that and also about eyeshadow you guys saw um i didn't keep any eyeshadow usually i will carry this one but i honestly do not want to carry this because yeah it's big and bulky so i have a hat um what i like to do is i will be using this with this big fluffy brush uh, this is in the shade truffle and this is from fenty beauty see this is a really nice brown shade so i just take a little bit and then go on to my crease and then in the middle if i feel like i'm just gonna use this highlighter from merit just to add a little bit of shine on here and that's all that's what i do okay so these days i'm just gravitating towards using this bronzer or maybe like the laguna bronzing powder that's what I do. Who knows in future it can change. But right now <laughs> this is what uh, is working for me. And for fragrance I'm just gonna carry this one. Just one. And you guys this one smells so good. This is a new uh, fragrance in my collection. I have done a video where I spoke about my favorite fragrances. Check, check that video out. But this smells absolutely divine. Yogi! What's up? Here is everything I'll be carrying. I also packed um, a hair tool if I feel like curling. There is a serum, a dry shampoo if I need it. And this is a, and this is a setting spray. And uh, if you guys know me, you know I personally do not like hair styling. I just leave my hair straight. But I feel like if in case I need it. So I'm just keeping it. Here is my makeup, skincare, I've kept few jewelry and for the shoes I really like this one from Aloha, it's really nice, um, very little heel and you can just slide it in so yeah, it's easier when you're traveling. I just kept it in case and I kept one flat. I recently got this belt from Holland and Cooper and this one looks really nice with dresses. So I'm keeping this one and I'm keeping one bag and yeah, here are a few dresses, denims. 
pans so that is all i'm keeping and i'm gonna uh, use packing cubes for packing everything because it's really nice um there to sort uh, the clothes so yeah i'm gonna do that and i got this one from amazon it's really nice and convenient it's like a lot of sections as you can see here fits a lot of stuff so i'm hoping i can fit all the clothes in here Wow, this one fits everything and I'm just gonna keep my shoes and those hair products inside that little bag and then I'm done. Okay, so let's have ourselves a little vacation travel planning chat. I feel like these tips are super helpful. So as I have mentioned before, I'm a total homebody, not much into traveling, but this year I'm trying to travel a little more. It can be really overwhelming and time consuming, especially if you are someone like me, just trying to figure out where to stay, places to go, where to eat, just logistics. I get it, it is a lot. So if in case you are somebody like me, a total homebody trying to venture travel a little these tips are going to be super helpful first step is to obviously choose the destination so this time we are going to savannah georgia and it is five hours drive from where we are currently we are in atlanta so we are not renting any car we are going by our own car so that's taken care of but if in case you are somebody who are going a little far, you wanna rent a car or maybe book a flight. I think that is the first step. And the next step is to figure out the space where you will be staying in. So for us, this time we are staying in a beautiful, beautiful Airbnb. We are so glad that we found that. And this time we are also traveling with Yogi. If you guys don't know, Yogi is our pet. He is turning two years soon. So he's a little pet, but most of the Airbnbs does not allow um, pets. So we were having a little hard time in finding a good airbnb which was also pet friendly so i spoke to one of my friends and he is like pro in traveling and he has like lots of amazing tips when it comes to traveling so he told me that just email the owner of the airbnb and just let him know that i have a little pet if he will allow that and you guys on the website the airbnb said that it's not pet friendly whatsoever but taking his advice we emailed the owner and he agreed he was like if it's a small pet and he doesn't make noise he has no issues with that so we were like okay we like the airbnb and he's allowing the pet as well so yeah deal done so yeah it's a great tip here if you are traveling with um, a pet and you are liking any airbnb but still it's not pet friendly just email the owner and try to explain your situation and most of the time he was telling 80% of the time they agree so I feel like that's a great tip here and once I'm done with that I like to make list of places where I want to visit like the places to eat the attractions activities to do and I like to google the places where I want to go or if in case I have friends at those places I'm gonna message them to ask uh, good places to eat and like all the good spots in the city so luckily we have a few friends who graduated from SCAD if you guys don't know it's a really really popular art college in Savannah so they were like okay we will tell you a lot of places to visit so yeah I messaged them so I make a list of the places where I want to go and if it's a lot of places you want to categorize it like food activities to do and attractions to visit so that's um, I'm already done with that I also have a friend who lives in Savannah so she told me a lot of places as you can see here a <laughs> lot of places to visit she told me desert places lunch places dinner places and every good spot so yeah, i feel like that step is super helpful because once you go there you will know what you're going to do every day so i feel like this uh, tip saves a lot of time when you are at the destination and i absolutely love food and i feel like this is my favorite part of uh, planning this trip so yeah i was really excited when i was looking for places to eat and you can check the reviews of the places as well people post pictures also that is super helpful so i made a list and you can also plug that in in your google maps i feel like that is super helpful because you can see the spots where you will be going so if in case you are in particular area you can cover all the spots in that area so i feel like that is also really helpful 
and yeah i'm planning on vlogging the whole trip for the first time so i'm super excited for you guys to see and i'll be doing that video in as much detail as possible so if in case you are also someone who are planning to visit savannah it will be a nice guide for you guys um so yeah stay tuned for that and yeah i really hope you enjoyed watching this video i'm gonna see you in my next one bye <music>